the concept of core came about around 1990 or so and really hit the researcher around 2000. And it was really talking about the transversus abdominis and maybe the pelvic floor and maybe you can throw in the diaphragm. Uh, some Pilates people talked about it in terms of the powerhouse that comes from here. And of course, the uh, Asian martial arts have been talking about the Dantian or the Hara, the center of gravity in this center of the body. So they thought about it as a center of power as well. And I'd like to offer the deep front line, what we're about to explore, as an expanded definition of core. It's more like core as if you took an apple core and you went down through the body. The muscles that you would keep in that core, the muscles and the fascia together that you would keep in that core, are what's going to define the deep front line. That is a very different definition of core. It goes from the inner ankle all the way up to the tongue and the jaw, and we're going to run that so that you can get an idea of where it is, how to get your hands on it, how to move it. And um, so we're both exploring the deep front line and we're giving some I different idea of what the core might be. So, in this, you do not want to poke down with your fingers, put your hand on the thigh, and then go down. Here is Stephanie's ischial tuberosity right there, and this is the line of the ischial ramus, which is the top of the leg that is the attachment for all of those adductors. So, once I have this point of trust, I can come into this tissue on the inside of the leg. You can once again roll your knee forward and back. So my hands stay pretty much where they are and her rolling back and forth is being used to open the tissue. Now, if she were really tucked one way or the other with her pelvis, I might be working more with my back hand or more with my front hand to get more length in there. But actually, right now, what I'm working for is just more proprioception, more fluidity, more life, in, more hydration in these muscles. Stage two on this would be can I make the leg a little longer? I can come in on these tissues and work the tissues down towards her foot. And now, instead of rolling your knee, elongate your leg out over the end of the table. Slide this leg that I'm working on out over the end of the table. That's great. Relax for a second. And think of that happening all the way from your ribs. You're reaching your leg all the way down. That's it. Now you're sending the bones down. Good. And the only difference is that we're trying to open this tissue here as she elongates her leg out away from her torso. Um, 